Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is my 2021 year review where I am going to go over how I did. And my name is Rachel. That is the R and the RK Stumbling Bear. And I'm a reader and a writer. This video you are watching about my reflections and my stats does have costume changes and I think location changes because I filmed my overall thoughts about my 2021 goals and now I'm going to talk about my stats and I think I probably will be intercutting in the video so don't be alarmed when you see things shift back and forth. So going through my goals for last year, there are some ups, some downs we shall discuss. But first, this first part of the video is going to be me just talking about my goals and how I've done. And then the second part is going to be me showing my statistics of my reading and how that's gone. There will be a costume change just because this is the last week of December and I am still reading. So my numbers are not quite fully there. For the readathon I'm currently doing, I have four books that I'm hoping to finish this week. I know at least I will get one done. You know what? I'm being positive and thinking maybe I'll get four. In 2021, my goal was to read four books a month. And looking at my numbers, on average I've done well, but technically I did not read four books a month. My lowest month was March and I only read three books, which I am okay with because March was lots of projects in my final semester of grad school. Now, my best month this year has was September, Space Opera September, and the Magical Readathon, both, and I read 18 books in that month. I also took a almost like a two-week vacation, so that allowed me to read a lot of chunky books. My original Goodreads goal was 52. I was thinking a book a week. I read 114 books, which is awesome. That is up from 2020 where I read 82 books. No longer being in school really does affect how much you can read. The next goal was to read a 2021 book each month or a total of 12 and I've definitely hit that. I'm currently at 16, probably will soon be 17 since the book I'm currently reading is a 2021 release. So yes, definitely have hit my goal on that and I'm very happy about that. Then my next goal was to lower the currently reading list on Goodreads. And for a while I was doing well, and then the last half of the year caught up to me and I just was more of a mood reader than normal and picking up things going, oh yeah, I'm interested, putting it down, picking up something else. And so my starting number in 2021 was 159 and my ending number is 161. Yeah, I am going to put more of a priority on that in 2022. I know it was a goal of 2021, but I was more, oh, hey, if I get around to it kind of thing. So in 2021, I also had the goal of reading from my Kindle app, reading my eBooks. I only like reading eBooks when I'm traveling. So I am not going to continue with this goal. Um, I failed it completely. Um, okay, I read 19 eBooks. Now, let me actually look at my Kindle app. Yeah, so only one book that I finished was actually on my Kindle. Everything else I read ebook wise was through the library or online. So did not do well with this goal. And I'm okay with that. Like I said, I prefer to read these ebooks when I'm traveling. And that was just not something that I could do. I'm okay with not repeating this one. <laughs> Another 2021 goal was to work on the readathon Nigiri run by the Spinebreakers. And this is the concept of reading from your shelves to fulfill prompts. And they do allow you to pick up books from the library. I honestly lost track of this. Um, it wasn't that I wasn't interested in it, because obviously I was, I put it on my goals, but it wasn't something that I had a firm, let's put this like list out. And so I did not do it. And I haven't looked at the list to see if anything I read actually qualifies or not. It's possible, but I think really I just failed spectacularly spectacularly on this one. And the last year-long readathon that I was working on was the Buzzwordathon. And I was doing this with a friend, kind of the concept of, oh, what book did you choose to so we could then talk about it? And after a few months, 
my friend had still not done the first month. And she's a reader. She just was like, oh yeah, no, I'm busy. Oh yeah, you know, I'm busy. I, I even tried to say, hey, you can read children's books. So grab a book that has that, has that title, word, or subject. And when you're reading to your kids and use that. No. She completely flaked on me. So I stopped really looking at this one. Looking back at the end of the year, I actually completed seven of these prompts. So I did better than I thought but the readathon kind of lost its way for me. And that's okay. Because otherwise I really have had a great reading year. Clothing change and I will show you my statistics. I am filming this on the 31st of December. I don't believe I'm going to be finishing any other books today. And I was right. My lowest reading month was March where I read three books and my highest reading month was September where I read 18. That is also where the month that I had my most pages read. This isn't typically something that I actually track. I use the Copile system that G over Book Roast has developed, and it was just a tracker that was automatically there. But for anyone who is curious, I read 33,385 pages this year. Now, I do believe that does include the four books I DNF. I don't remember off the top of my head. And out of the items I read, 99 were read physically and 19 were ebooks. I did not do any audiobooks this year. Like I've said in previous videos, I do audio more when I'm doing a car drive and I didn't do any of that. So according to Kyle Pyle, I have read across 14 different genres. The one I have read the most in is science fiction. I read 40 science fiction books that I would consider science fiction the primary category, which ended up being 34% of my overall reading, which is not bad. Not bad at all. My second highest was fantasy at 24 books or 20%. So putting those together, more than half of my reading is science fiction and fantasy or genre. I'm happy with that. For the length of books read, this one was interesting for me. I guess I've read a lot of novellas or more novellas than I thought I had. 28 books were between 150 and 200 pages and that was my highest category. My second highest with 17 was between 350 and 400. So I think Storygraph is right when it says that I like a fast paced book. For my star rating, for this I do just do uh, full stars. I I record half stars on Storygraph just because it gives you that option. But for my personal self and for Goodreads, I just use uh, the full stars. And I had two two stars, eight three stars, 62 four stars and 41 five stars, which is making my top 10 favorites a little bit harder to figure out. But overall, not bad. I mean, you can obviously see that I know my tastes. I would consider the five stars and four stars to be really great books and books that I would recommend. My three stars, they were lukewarm, but good enough for me to finish. So I was not surprised to find that the majority of what I read I consider adult, and that was about 68% of what I read. And the next highest category was 21% young adult. A lot of people I follow on BookTube read young adult, so of course I'm going to be interested in what they're talking about. It makes sense. And there's still a bleed over from when I was a youth and there's certain story elements that I like in young adult, so I'm not mad. And for the difference in adult and young adult, I would it definitely comes down to subject matter, not age, because you can have children in an adult book as viewpoint characters, but it comes it comes down to the overall subject matter of the book. Alright, so looking at the publication year of the books I read, I I knew a lot of them were going to be 2020 because I was reading uh, award-nominated books. I'm not surprised that 34 of the books I read were published in 2020. I am happy to report that I have read 20 2021 books because my goal for that was at least one a month and I've definitely completed that so that keeps my hopes up high that I will also hit that goal in 2022. I am a little sad that 
all the books I read this year, I think the earliest published one is 2000. So they are all written in the past 20 years. And that's not normal. I normally have a little bit more variety in there. So we shall see how that goes in this next year. But I am happy that I read more books that were published in 2021 because I feel then I have a better understanding of what I can nominate for awards for this following year. And out, out of the books I read, 88 were part of a series and 30 were standalones. And I finished eight series this year. So if you have watched my goals video for 2022 and saw my high uncompleted series, I finished eight. So I'm doing pretty well on that, I guess. <laughs> or so the, the number came down. And this was back when I wasn't tracking it yet. I started tracking it in 2021. And that's when I was like, oh, maybe I should start closing those up. Or if I start something, maybe I should close that series. Thank you for coming to my video. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.